Well, hello. Welcome to Life is Strange Before the Storm. We're going to play through the whole game in one sitting. And I've got Twitch chat with me to help me as well. So expect a lot of emotions, a lot of crying. I've played this a million times, but we're playing through it again because Steph's episode's coming up. So we have to, all right? We just have to. So let's fucking get this game started. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> <Our> YouTube. <laughs> Volume warning, by the way. The controller vibrates to scare the shit out of me. Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Fuck yes. I love this Mom Chloe. Would kill me if she knew I was out here. This version of Chloe reminds me a lot of how I was when I was her age. Like, she's like what 16 in this game. Ashley Birch. Hell yeah. Is it Ashley Birch in this one? I know they changed the voice actor because Chloe from the original one. Holy shit. There's something about a voice actor's strike, I think. Little rabbit hops. This place is awesome. She very much reminds me of me when if I was I'm her gonna age. Get inside, I'll have to get through that door. Right, get through the door. We're not gonna look at every little thing because I've played this a billion times. So, for the point of this playthrough is just gay shit. Let's go. You said dangerously along the train tracks as a train would come speeding towards you. Yes. Funnily enough. Speaking of, if um if you watch Geek Remix on YouTube, I highly shout them out because they go through this game and analyze every fucking thing and they figured out that the um the license plates are like little a little easter eggs for like either people's names or favorite things so like bonnie and clyde for this one and they had stuff like twin peaks and that because the first game was very much heavily inspired by twin peaks spartacus That'll be someone's name, wouldn't it? Slippery chip, fucking hell. Okay. Argument. I Let's have watch this argument. Excuses out of me. But it really wasn't my fault. You're always blaming everyone else, but you're. Those guys need to get a room. Hey, you two should kiss. Or not. Oh. Damn. <laughs> Mind your own business. Mind your own business, kid. I understand. I understand, really. And it will never happen. So one's in trouble. Also behind here, there's an opportunity to draw. I like doing these. Now what to draw? Push against a wall and slapping him seems kinky. Absolutely. Not a meth lab or free candy. What'd you guys think? X or B? Let's go chat. Or A and D. X and B. Let's go. No! <laughs> this is not a David Cage game. Let's 
Let's go X. Definitely, absolutely <laughs> not a meth lab. Amazing. Too busy vibing to the music. Oh, wait until you get in there. The music in this game is sick. This band shreds so hard. I gotta get in there. Won't chat to make decisions. Can do. Um, not the important decisions, though. When it comes to, like, QTEs and shit like that, I'm gonna have to do it, obviously, because of delay. But... With other stuff. Yeah. Nothing says badass like a nice floral print. New dialogue unlocked. Sick. Let's go. I'd join a motorcycle gang. If I had any friends. Same, Chloe, same. Mom would totally flip her shit if she knew I hiked for an hour just to see a show. This place is sketchy as hell. An old abandoned building in the middle of nowhere, miles from home. I thought I said ponder as well. All right, let's talk to, to this good looking fella. Help you miss. You gotta let me in, check it. I'm totally legit. You'd say that if you were. It's not a bad fake, kid, but you're in over your head here. Do yourself a favor and scram. <laughs> hey, get him out of here. Can't let him push me around. Should I go back and stand up to him? Yes. Can something around here help me convince him? Yeah, we saw the bike, so we can... God, again? What do you want, kid? Right, okay. So, this is Chloe's power, is back chatting, all right? Chloe in this game just fucking argues a way into shit. Back talk challenge, let's go. I have to convince this doorstop that I'm not giving up until he lets me inside. Oh, I got that face. Let's go. Don't you remember what it's like to be a teenager? I just want to see the band. I thought we went over this. Isn't it past your bedtime? Oh. So it'll highlight certain words that you can use against them. So. Your bedtime. Aww. Oh, isn't it past yours? <laughs> Real cute. But I still don't know you. Cute, okay. Don't do cute. Look at my face. Do I look cute? Or do I look like I'm going to kick your ass? Chloe, you can't intimidate <laughs> shit. I'm sorry. Okay, kid. I get it. You're tough. Maybe I am a kid. Because this place looks like a damn playground to me. A girl like you? I can't protect you in there. The flowers on the a bike. Girl like you with pretty pretty flowers on her bicycle shouldn't lecture me on what I can do. That is a traditional Samoan <laughs> Look, my boss decides who gets in, alright. Uh shit. Bosses suck. Bosses suck. Screw the man and fuck, fuck the, the rules, rules dude. dude. <laughs> You're not accepting no for an answer, are you? Nope. <laughs> and you really think you can take me? Yep. What if I had a knife? No problem. A gun? Don't care. What if I had... You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still <laughs> kick your ass. <laughs> I give up. She's such a little shit, isn't she? You're all right, kid. Go on in. She's just... Oh, my God. You can tell I've played this game a million times before. I know this dialogue, like, from the back of my hand, I swear. 
<laughs> it's so good though. This is intense. I'm probably gonna get claimed for this music, but Delia, come. Delia, you dog. Oh, absolutely, Katie. Yeah. Question everything. Why? <laughs> I love that. Got a fucking craft beer things, of course. Just follow the lights and the sound. Can't wait to get in there and thrash. Let's go. I want to pet the dog. What's her name? Delia. Did you good dog? You can pet the dog 10 out of 10. She doesn't usually like people. Neither do I. Yeah. Me neither. Can't help but that shit. Don't mess with Damon Merrick. I can't hear you. Can you talk louder, please? T shirt. Give me t shirt. Twenty bucks, baby. Twenty bucks? That's robbery. And don't call me baby. Fine. Twenty bucks, thief. That guy's a dick. If I want a shirt, I'm going to need to get creative. Twenty quid for a shirt isn't that bad. I paid thirty for this one. We have to set this up exactly as I explained to Then again, inflation in it. Parking brake. Fuck that guy. Dude. Maybe you shouldn't overcharge. Then again, you pay gig prices, don't you? Shit! No, 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 no! Come on! Thanks for playing, Dick. <laughs> I just realized I have a similar ring on. Give me a t shirt. Oh, yeah! Sweet. Sweet victory. I saw that you can actually buy these t-shirts online, the firewalk ones, and I really want one. They look so cool. That's like 200 bucks. Take it, he's a dick. Take it, take it, take it. I'm a bad influence, aren't I? Get some weed. Holy shit, I'm rich. Fuck yeah, I could do 200 quid right now. Can I smoke? Knife, can I take? I can't take. Skeevy guys. I don't really want to talk to them. Alright. We've got another important decision coming up. What should we what should we draw? X or B. Crime. We all on YouTube have got a poll going in chat at the top, so it'll be a couple of seconds before we decide. Speaking of, saw so Bring Me the Horizon recently. It was fucking sick. Do you want before this? Is there settings? There we go, settings. I'll turn the I'll turn the volume down a bit. Master volume, music volume. I'll turn the music volume down a bit because it's gonna be I'm gonna get claimed anyway. Voices, I'll keep them high. Effects volume, yeah. All right. X. But yeah. I just want to thrash, like honestly, all the time. It's sick. I'm still like recovering from that. My back is fucked. My the back of my neck here is absolutely fucked.
Here we go. Do you know what? Small gigs like that. Oh, the best. The fuck? Hey. You okay? I'm fine. Shut up. Relax. You bumped into me, remember? Say sorry and go. Yep. My bad, dude. You don't know who I am, do you? Nope. Don't care either. Hey, let me know how that works out for you, bitch. All right. They, can, they clearly see no that she's not their Fine. age. She's a, she's a kid. She's like 16. Maybe I can get a better view of the action from up above. Yeah, she's like 16. Like, why are they talking to her like that? Fucking nonsense energy. Yo, Frank. Hey. Good night, Frank. Chloe. I know your name, you idiot. You bought pot for me every month for a year. Look at that get up, <laughs> studs. You're trying too hard. I have a choker that looks like that. What are you even doing here? I'm trying to see this damn band. But this you, place Ben. <laughs> Hard to get to the stage. How'd you even hear about this little shindig? Ha, the internet. How else? <laughs> Seriously? Fucking kids. Herd gur gur. Internet is bad. Read a Did book. You see that guy <laughs> I ran into? Acted like I was supposed to know who the hell he was. Ah, uh, yeah. I know him. He works for Damon. Damon who? This is his place. He's a friend of mine. All right. Get some weed. Okay, so you holding? I could definitely use something to take the edge off. Of course. As soon as you give me the 175 bucks you owe me. Take Lots it. In a dime bag and we'll call it square. Hey, hey. What are you waving all this kind of money here for? You really don't think before you act, do you? Nope. So where's my pot? <laughs> where's my pot? <laughs> no more loans. I'm not your fucking piggy bank. You're a good man, Frank. No. I'm not. I'll beat it, Price. You're cramping my style. The thing is, though, you can sell drugs and still be a good person. Like, those things don't go hand in hand. Where do those stairs go? Uh, up. <laughs> Real helpful, Frank. I mean, will I get a better view of the band up there? How the fuck should I know? Floor buffs rotted all to hell, okay? No one goes up there. Fine. I'll see you later. Whatever. Hell yeah, 420 blaze it. But then, like, the thing about taking the money is now that she doesn't owe him anything, which is great. That's always good to not have to owe people money. I have to do the obligatory spins. What kind of emotion is this? All right, stay well. Let's go. There we go. Fucking tune. Let's go. I had this in my playlist until recently. Fuck oh, yes! Finally made it! I can't believe it! I'll talk over this so I don't get claimed. It's a good song, not gonna lie. Okay, Cora, no worries. Fuck it, insult him. 
to be dicks. Then how about I show you how unimpressed I am with limp dick assholes who get butt hurt over a spilled beer? I think she's calling us out, dude. She's gonna regret you think every so? word. Every word. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be good. I'm gonna teach this little punk some man. I'm serious. You wanna see me get angry here? Because I'm getting there. And it won't be pretty. It won't. She thinks she can take you? He's hype man's a little bitch. Hey! Dickhead! Oh. Pretty girl? Um, attack. Should I attack? Yeah, kick him with the balls and run. Ah! Yeah! She kicks with the balls! <laughs> oh, fuck. Rachel? Rachel, Rachel Amber. Her hair is sick. Hurry up! Let me go, Frank! Not gonna happen. Calm down. Come on, man! Walk away. Screw this! <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! As much as Frank is very problematic, he's still nice, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not gonna spoil the first game just in case people haven't played it, but there's something that they discover in the first game with Frank. Like about, yeah, just about stuff and it's, it's it kind of rubs me the wrong way seeing. Gay finger, lol. It's a good way when it needs to be, exactly, yeah. Fucking good song. Also, the photo of the kiss at the top above a bed. It's like a reference to a photo. I forgot what, who it's by, but it's a photo of two, two femme presenting people in bed, like kissing and spectacular photo. I saw it in person once. And not gonna lie, I just kind of stared at it for like an hour, like, gay. <laughs> Fun fact if you don't take the weed, like, if you don't take the money to buy weed, she has a cigarette in her hand in this scene. Sometimes all I want to do is shut my eyes and tell the world to go to hell. Me too, bud. Me too. Hey, Max. Hey, Dad. Another day in paradise. Right? Oh, Chloe. Also, with the journal, I'm not going to read through it all because I'm dyslexic, but yeah. Basically through this, you could probably look them up online if you want to. But um, she's addressing Max in all these, and how, you know, at the beginning, she's like talking about how upset she is for leaving and all that. Yeah, the journals are really good to read if you have the time. Like I watch, when, like I said, Geek Remix are probably the best YouTubers to watch when it comes to this. Daily rituals are important even when they involve writing unread letters to friends who have forgotten you. Then you have little things on here about each person. Whoa. And each thing like that. Wakey, wakey, 
Last night, seeing Firewalk live. The skeevy assholes. That girl. Was that really Rachel Amber? You smell like cigarettes and beer. Better change clothes. Same after bring me. I literally had a whole pint of beer thrown at me. Like at me. <laughs> and I had a bruise on my hand, like going all the way around here from it. I still got like a little gash from it. It was fucked. Let's put the new firework top on. Yeah. I like that you can get to choose their clothes. Without my vitamins. <laughs> Do you know what? I just wouldn't carry, honestly. You just get yourself into trouble, like, especially if she's underage. Really should get going. All right. Trash. The report card. Yeah, no one needs to see that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The graffiti thing. Let's see if we get to choose or no. Okay. Better living through chemistry. <laughs> MG420. Why can't you be more positive? Very close thing to do. It is. Like, if you're already, if it's already illegal and you're already like, like I'm guessing it's illegal because she had to buy it from a dealer. But like. Yeah, you know, considering if this is illegal, you won't want to get yourself into any more trouble by carrying it just in case someone couldn't, like, just in a Ziploc bag, you'll be able to smell it. It's not like, it's not like if it was in an airtight jar or something, it, it, you will smell it. Unless it's literally, like, airtight. Ask Miss Arcadia. You're the only source of info I trust in this town. Wait. What? Who? What photo? I oh. have feelings about this. Oh, Most right. Most of them are not good feelings. <laughs> why, why is this so fucking accurate for when I was in high school? It's ridiculous. Like, hangs out with a popular girl. No one knows who I am. Thinks I'm someone else. Legit. <laughs> Who's the arm? Who's the arm counting? Deborah something. Deborah Bogan. <laughs> and who's arm and <laughs> dude? That's Chloe Price. <laughs> ah. Hey Zenith, how's it going? I've been strange before. Max killing everyone to save punk girlfriend. Hell yeah. <laughs> How is everyone? I'm doing shit, but I'm streaming through the pain. <laughs> and then let's start at the end. This is a really intelligent conversation. <laughs> oh god, so Rachel was meant to go to Victoria's sleepover and I ended up going to Firewalk instead of meeting Chloe. And everyone's like, oh, what the fuck is going on? All right. Dad was so proud of me for winning that stupid science fair. Chloe's a science geek, so she has a periodic table in her room, and she won a science fair project. She's a science nerd. Let's fucking go. Poster, let's have a look. Mom said I was too young to go. She was wrong, and it was awesome. All right. Let's open this drawer. Max made me this new <laughs> CD years ago, and because it was Max, not a single song was pirated. Oh my god. Let's open this drawer. As awesome as some of those shows with Elliot were, they were nothing compared to Firewalk last night. 
saved all the thieves you have to delete that photo of me dancing only you could get me to lease it up like that happy two month anniversary hmm i want mr sharky give please mr sharky let's have a look at mr sharky fun fact shark babies eat their siblings in the womb maybe that's why i'm an only child huh <laughs> Also, the amount of boobs in this room, you can tell that Chloe's not straight. Like, legit, that process is NSFW and it has like a, you know, boobs. There's, there's boobs. And there's the fucking, fucking kissing of boobs and fucking boobs. <laughs> in the other Life is Strange, there was a picture here, like by the computer of what looks like Chloe's boobs. Because it had blue hair in the photo. I don't want to tear it down. That's fucking rad. I want that in my room. But I know it's another drawing opportunity, so I might have to. No more unicorns. Is that the IKEA no shark? Princesses and yes. No more fucking rainbows. IKEA shark, aka Graham. Of wisdom, don't fail me now. Right, X or B, everyone. But yeah, my friend, my friend Bakey has a ikea shark called graham and it's fucking adorable x or b people 100 percent of the shots or genius is x all right let's go Everything's worth a shot. Damn. All right. Let's go. You just heard me say the shots. You don't drink. Uh. Shit. Where's my phone? God damn it, Chloe. It's not here. How drunk was I last night? Chloe, I said breakfast. Guess I better try calling my phone with mom's. Well, I've played this a million times, so I already know where her phone is. Okay. But mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. Oh yeah, she has a black eye as well from when someone punched her yesterday. Um. Phone. How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? I'm sorry about her face. Just a little, little, little smile. Like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's great. It's probably dead. Oh, to be fair, this is probably around like. This is probably late two thousand. Like is definitely nearby. Of course, it's next to the toilet. She's there definitely threw go. up. Wonder how many calls I've missed. I don't know who that is, Saint Paul. <laughs> hey, no worries, Zenith. All right. Maybe join us for supper. No thanks. Maybe coming home at any point tonight? Chloe, will you be home by curfew? There will be consequences. This action has consequences. Ding, 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 ding. Elliot, okay, here we go. Spanish test sucked. Lucky if I passed. Aw. Oh, lo siento. No, I think I did okay. Cool. What are you up to? Not much. Just got shit to do later. Oh, okay. You finished chem homework? Nope. Do this a third time. I already know everything. Fair point. She seems very one word answery to him. I don't think she likes him. Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I think I saw mom's purse in her room. Let's have a look at the cabinet, though. I want to. I want a nosy. Mom's hiding her gray hair to impress her boyfriend. Maybe gray hair is his kryptonite. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should dye my hair gray. That'd be amazing. Do it. Do it, pussy. You won't. 
BBC Pop Center. Um, it was like Olympics and shit. Oh, I think I know who you're on about with the short hair. Chloe, breakfast. All right, mum. <laughs> Wait, ring. Mom's old engagement ring. Supposed to be mine. If I'm ever stupid enough to get married. Grade B? Fuck you, Arcadia Pawn. Wait, mom's selling her engagement ring? Dialogue unlocked. I love how her mom's just like. Can you grab my cell phone too? Like, Chloe, breakfast! Come, come down for breakfast! Like, I need to talk to you. literally. Come down for breakfast! Yeah. Come down for breakfast! Also, that can you do this really and this and this? Me want to hurry. <laughs> Why aren't you down here yet? Do all this thing! Why aren't you down here yet? Like, literally, fuck. That's such a parent thing to do, I swear. Coming, mom. Coming, mom. <laughs> oh god, I love that. That's my favorite bit. It's just, it's just like, coming, mom. <laughs> Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table. Here I come. Chloe, I don't have all day. Get over here already. <laughs> I should see what mom wants before she strokes out. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I love that bit so much. You can tell I've played this a lot, can't you? Dad's old swear jar. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. How They're can bacon smell so good, but I'd still rather stuff these sugar bombs in my mouth? Speaking of, I tried some vegan bacon yesterday. It was Richmond, like, Joe, the one who did the sausages and shit. They do vegan sausages now and vegan bacon, and they're both absolutely divine. They, they're they the best vegan sausages and bacon I've ever had. It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner-type food. I guess that's fair, but at least she's still feeding you, innit? Hey, you Some people don't talk? have that privilege. Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. <laughs> you seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. <laughs> you don't have to say message. Oh my god. And I need you to answer without the snark. Uh, sorry, I'll do better. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? Uh, ask about the ring, I guess. Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Okay. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? Yeah, I was thinking that. She literally just asked us to go in there. And it was right next to her purse. What do you what do you expect, you know? I'll avoid the David question. Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame too. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't joke like that. Oh, she's not joking. <laughs> You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe, you don't hate him. He calls me girly. Yeah, that's He's gross. a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I serve them, he says, what are you going to eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Firewalk? Is that the band you mentioned last week? I'm still bummed you wouldn't let me go. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> she knows. I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that? Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? At least she lies for us, though. And I do know what pot smells like, you know. 
Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. <laughs> Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. That's fair. Um, maybe I need to be left alone. I guess she does need her own time to process things. Not the old-fashioned dickhole. Oh my god, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, maybe she needs time to process this by herself. Maybe I just need to be left alone. Maybe you're 16 and don't know what you need. David thinks you need discipline. Ew. David should mind his own business. So he should. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. But she's 16. Maybe he doesn't need to parent her. He doesn't need to... Yeah, like I said, he doesn't need to parent her. She's 16. Like, if she doesn't want him to be in her life, if she doesn't really want to acknowledge him then she doesn't have to. Like, she's old enough to not, you know? Dad's a good man. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart, but sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Ugh. Very funny. You will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such- What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? That's a good point. I don't think there's any point in saying what you feel because like I don't think it's gonna get her anywhere just be like I understand where you're coming from but I don't agree you know what I mean instead of just being like uh this is my opinion and you can't say shit like it's nice to hear from both sides like it's nice to hear from Chloe's mum's side as well because obviously she needs someone as well she can't just go for her whole life not having someone you know and you know even though that guy is a dick you know she doesn't need to acknowledge him at the end of the day really so mom i know you're dealing with a lot thank you i understand you don't need me as much anymore yeah but i need you i do still need you you're my mom i'm proud of you for being so self-sufficient but the whole world's not out to get you tell that to the world yeah it fucking impossible. seems that way doesn't it but I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. Okay, David's waiting. You'll need to bring him his keys from the ashtray. Try not to kill each other. Got it. Unless he tries to give me advice. Or looks at me funny. Chloe. <laughs> or looks at me at all. Chloe. Mom. Have a good day. You too. Hmm. <laughs> Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. She still hasn't had breakfast. Right, where's the keys? Where'd she say they were? Ashtray. Here they are. Ew, David, I know. Let's get these to David so he can drive away. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. They better get going. Oh, Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? Yeah. <sighs> and never looked back? Couldn't help it if her parents moved, though. Like, similar kind of thing when I was watching Fear Street. And, 
Like, the main character was so mad at this girl for moving away. But, like, her parents got divorced. She had no choice. And she was still so mad about it. Like, that kind of thing. You can't be mad at the person for it. Steph! Guys, it's Steph! <laughs> Steph illegally downloading movies. I love that. Steph's a pirate. Y'all get to see young Steph. <laughs> Sorry, I need to cough. What a piece of crap. The car, too. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. Nice. This is you women. Oh, don't click no, at me. Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. <laughs> I, I, that's a pet peeve of mine. Is that a black eye? No. Nope. Insubordination. <laughs> no wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh. That's sweet. <laughs> when I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Mm -hmm. Electrode insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites. Do you not part hear me? I said I know what it does. What's wrong with his head? Then Fuck go grab knows. My socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. Let me try jab on the what floor. What is this? Quality time. Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. What's wrong with his head? It's the it's the it's the fucking white military dad haircut. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? All right. Take that. 50-50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60-40. 60-40. Maybe 90-10. <laughs> Also, graffiti guys, ready? Another choice for yours. If it's in my garage, it gets my special treatment. What message does David really need to hear? Right. X or B. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Let's fucking go. B. B. Okay, box of dicks. All right, let's go. Got it. Hey, nice. Next time he opens it, he's gonna have a box of dicks. Do these have chapters on hot wiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend. Huh. Camera? Dad's old camera. <laughs> do they even make film for these anymore? Yes, Chloe, yes they do. If y'all have watched the first game or played the first game, You'll recognize that camera. I'm not going to say why for people who haven't. Tiniest penis in all of Arcadia Bay. Exactly. People who have cars that are fucking loud for no reason, like modded cars and shit, they have the tiniest dick energy I've ever seen. If I don't bring David his wrench soon, he might explode. Not literally. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. Shut up. Why does he dress like a lesbian? 
all the lesbians just dress like military dads. See what's gunking up the works there? That's common deposit. Carbon deposits. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. Yeah, like Ferrari man, yeah. All right. <laughs> Fist bump. Fuck it, why not? Fine, whatever. This actually will have consequences. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Fuck off. That's mean. It's clearly her dad's. So why would you laugh at that? I hate that. I hate that so much. That's peeved me off. Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. Please. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck. We don't Can we get a fist bump? Like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Shut it down. We're not dealing with this shit. Let's go. Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's Respect goes both ways. Fuck you. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Language? Foxtrot uniform. Here, let me put that in a language you'll understand. Foxtrot uniform. Yeah. <laughs> You've got a smart mouth, don't you? Yes, you do. Let me do it down. Let me dumb it down for you. I mean, sorry. What has fewer syllables than dumb? Fuck okay. yeah. Watch your... I can crap bigger than you, got it? Oh, that's what I smell. A giant load of crap. <laughs> you... Your mother... You're breaking her heart. At least she has a heart. Yeah. All you have is... What's it called when you've got one porn stash and zero porn stash? Game? I was in the army. You will respect me. You don't have to respect. Did enlist? I don't remember enlisting. Yeah. So don't treat me like your newest recruit. Legit. She didn't ask for this. If you were a man, it's I'd... cool. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you either. Oh. <laughs> Fuck I yeah. Mission accomplished. The sass, I don't know, right? That's why I love Chloe. She just don't give a shit. I'd love this song. Country music. Country is just farm emo. I just called to tell you that I miss you, my love. Fun fact, oil was my nickname for a long time. Because the tattoo eyes spelled my name wrong day. on a sheet. Hey, no worries, Cora. Country roads, rainbow road. <laughs> I guess mom left her purse back here. Nightmare sequence, let's go. Also, porn update. Hell yeah. Dolly Parton is on TikTok? You fucking what? Do Dolly Parton, the Dolly Parton. The Pfizer queen herself. Dolly Parton. Fuck yeah. I know what Tell you the video, fuck yeah. Is, 
If mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. Dad, turn it up. No worries, Aimbot. Picking up my lover from the grocery store. Trigger one in. Be careful. I should I should give a trigger warning right now for the rest of the game. They do play back on this car crash a lot. So if it's a sensitive subject for people, I highly apologize. Hey. The hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. She reads bedtime stories on live? Holy shit. Whatever. You're welcome. <laughs> Believe it or not, saying whatever has a better reaction from David than saying thanks. Because if you say thanks, he's like, Hello, being like, you could out. meet it. Trauma school, hell yeah. Chloe's dad was kind of hot. Nah, 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 nah. He's not, he's not my type, I'll put it that way. I'm into the ladies, you see. Fe femme ladies. Hey, well, Chloe, I say femme, more like oh, stem, but kind of more hey, femme. Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? Shut what? up, Elliot. This? You should see the other guy. Hmm. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Yes. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about the Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you wanna go together tomorrow? No. Sounds awful. No way. I'd rather have my eyes gouged out with rusted forks. Yeah, right. Me too, <laughs> I guess. All right. See you in camp. Yeah, for sure. Like, Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. Steph! I've still got time before class. <laughs> Sorry, my voice cracked. Oh my god. <laughs> my voice cracked. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got too excited about Steph. Uh, Nathan in tights. Can't <laughs> unsee. You. I think they might look pretty suave in tights, you never know. You weird plasticine man. <laughs> Send Chloe to be unprotected so she can fall in love with the right person. Hell yeah. The future needs excellence. The future is an asshole. Oh yeah. Victoria! You pretentious bitch. Carrie Price. Carrie. It's Chloe. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. Social distancing People before it was cool. Me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Yep. Talk about Rachel, fuck her. Wait, what about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. We murdered a man. It was a pretty normal night for us. A little music, a little dancing. We murdered a guy. <laughs> <laughs> you are so funny. Oh, seriously though, I didn't realize you and Rachel were such BFFs. 
Yeah, friends of benefits, really babe. Uh, so, what's she into? You know, <laughs> what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. What is know? the password? I mean, drugs? Look at your face. Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. Ha! <laughs> That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're being you. Oh. You're being you. Okay, right. Sabotage her homework or walk away? What do you guys want to do? I might need help with this answer. One of our lectures just referred to the timetable in staff as gremlins, and I live for it. <laughs> That's great. Gremlins. <laughs> X. Sabotage your homework. Fuck yeah, let's go. I'm sorry, Victoria. I didn't mean to be rude. You know, I finished the assignment. Want some help? You? Help me? Of course. That last problem was hard, right? If I'm remembering correctly, the answer was fluorine, uranium, carbon, <laughs> potassium, and, uh, <laughs> Uranium again. Does that that spells right? fuck. Perfect. And you. Hey, thanks, Carrie. Because K is no for potassium. Problem. That's the only thing I know from science. Because he used to make the joke all the time. Like when you're trying to spell something, you say K is for potassium. <laughs> F is in fluoride, K is in potassium. DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. Chloe's a fucking savage. She is. Like, yeah, like, the difference in the colour palette from this and true colours, like, how muted this colour palette is. Like, it's very autumnal, isn't it? Like, it, probably because it is taking place in autumn. And it's just, you know. It's very... It, yeah, it's, it's very tonal, isn't it? Hey, Chloe. Hey, Samantha. What are you reading? Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? I read that last year in Mrs. Hoyda's English class. I didn't think you did homework. <laughs> Normally I don't, but the play was actually good. What did you like about it? It's funny. It's funny. Uh, the title's actually a play on the song, Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Wolf? And that's funny? Yes. It is if you're the wolf. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so it's cool. People always say that. But I think you're actually... Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. I bet. She seems really sweet. Flowers. Look at flowers. Flowers always make me think of springtime, which makes me think of summer, which makes me think of getting the fuck away from Blackwell for three whole months. Nice. I love flowers. Definitely fits the character vibes as well. Oh, absolutely. Rebellious, cool, and reads Virginia Woolf. Is Chloe just made from sex education? Oh, absolutely. Steph and Mikey normally post up somewhere quiet in the courtyard. I want to talk to Miss Grant, though. I like Miss Grant. Morning, Miss Grant. Morning, Miss Grant. Chloe, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Hmm. I might turn my lights off or down a bit. Turn what down do a you bit. think of this hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today. <laughs> That's probable. I wouldn't miss it for all the manganese in the world, Miss Grant. Your sincerity's overwhelming. Hmm. With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. What kind of change do you mean? Well, 
The Prescotts have made an extremely generous donation to the school, which is good, but instead of going to support more science and oh, mathematics, Jesus Christ. it's all being dedicated to the arts. You don't think more money Sorry, the should be going. in the arts? It's about to not fly open, I'll be right back. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support, but apparently our new donors disagree with me. Such is life, I suppose. Miss Grant actually seems sad. Uh. Sorry about that, no more natural lighting today. Do you support STEM too? Look at it this way, Miss Grant. More art classes will keep all the smug, self-absorbed types out of your science classroom. <laughs> Articulate, Good point. as always. All right, cool. So. Yeah, because my bedroom window's on a slant, like whenever it's windy, it'll literally try and pull the window up. Skippy. Hey, Skip. Stopped any gang wars lately? Yeah. Not today. Oof. Looks like you did, though. Huh? Ah, right. Whatever. I did ask Justin Williams' mom to move her Mercedes out of handicap parking. Badass. Yeah, you know how I roll. Justin's mom. So, you spending a lot of quality time with Justin's mom? <laughs> no. But if you see Justin, tell him I can only ignore that cloud of weed smoke for so long. Tell him yourself, Skip. Not my problem. Point. I'm trying to do him a favor. Speaking of doing people favors. Ah, uh, yeah. Guess I've been hanging around Justin this morning. His odor must have latched onto me. <laughs> uh huh. Glad to see all you high risks sticking together. High risks? Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. Forget I called you that. Huh. High risks. Guess you can learn useful things in school. All right. Talk to you later. I've got to get to class. Let's talk later, Skip. Sure, Chloe. All right. Let's talk to... Let's talk to him. Damn, girl. That eye looks sick. What's going on? Dude, you need to freshen like a mofo. Are you saying I smell like weed? That's exactly yeah. what I'm saying. Word. Well, good looking out, Price. Want a hit? Like, right here? <laughs> Thanks. Weirdly enough, I've never had this interaction before. On this one. Yeah, weirdly enough, I've never had that interaction. I bet Steph and Mikey are playing games on one of the tables. Alright, Evan. Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about like wildfire awareness and prevention. Good morning to you too, Evan. <laughs> According to the Department of Forestry, over 90% of this season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high and completely preventable. Uh, wildfires aren't awesome. This they destroy a lot of shit. Right? I don't believe you actually care about this. My interest in fire prevention is completely sincere. Besides, I intend to get into college on the strength of my photography alone. Good. Do you think Rachel Amber would be willing to pose for my portfolio? She's so artistic. I bet she would be a dream model. What do you think? I guess. I don't want to say wildfires are awesome, but I think we Who have to. Who says we should prevent fire? Fire is awesome. While I realize you're being purposefully obstructive, you raise a good point. Many parts of our local ecosystem benefit from fire. Knobcone pine cones, for example, which require temperatures above 350 degrees to open. Say hey, the man's outfit. Knobcone. <laughs> no. <laughs> I got it right. Wait, one last thing. 
Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? Sure. Sure. I love assemblies. Some of the best naps of my life. Wow, thanks. I did not see that coming. You being, you know, interested in complicated but... issues, helping out with the public. Do you want me to change my mind? I... No. How seriously am I taking this right now? Smoke weed to bear. Happy to support such an important cause. Blackwell Academy, home of tomorrow's leaders. Yeah, everyone did sign their real name, it's fair. Thanks so much for signing my petition. Smoke weed D bear? Only you can prevent ganja fires. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like his outfit either. It... Steph! If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. Try me. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Got my DVD. One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Hell yeah. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Step completion way. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just, like, a friend thing? Uh, I don't want to say was it to you. That's kind of mean, but I think she's... Yeah, that's a very Chloe thing to say. Why do you want to know? Crush. <laughs> Steph has a crush. <laughs> Chloe, you should join her game. <laughs> I love how gay yeah. she is. I, I fucking love her. I don't hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like... 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Imagine playing D&D &D before school. Fucking hell. Imagine having the confidence that that'll go, like, to, like... That'll work out time-wise for you. Sure. I just want to play D&D. Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. Hell yeah. <laughs> totally an elf barbarian. Yes. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. I know, I'm good. All right, let's get started. Yeah, the way character model's grown, I know, heroes right? heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land, now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elamon, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernon. Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh, Calamastia. Calamastia. I super into it. Not bad. The two heroes. Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? Oh. Bang kebab. I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him, too. True story. <laughs> you stand Sick. at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the Unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Dur dude. Elamon frowns. 
The Raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Sure. Your choice, newbie. Training ground first. Where do you wish to go? Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. Yes. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Um, overkill? Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Hell yeah. Holy shit. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. This is what I played DD. Uh, &D. Me too. Um. Fatal Cleave. Okay, let's end this. Fatal Cleave. You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I'm awesome at this game. It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, <laughs> it's unlikely any loot survived. Dang. Well done, mate. No make mistakes. Don't worry, Elamon guy. We all make mistakes. Elamon. Nods. Calamastia, the elf barbarian, is most wise and forgiving. What's next? All right, prison camp. Oh, Warlord's Tanner, uh, yeah, prison camp. Guess it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron cages, each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you and in terror runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in ah poor little guy what's a dragonkin dragonkin are like little dragon people <laughs> they're assholes i bet he has all the keys oh okay hey shit face get out of there the dragonkin hops up and down shaking his ring of keys at you he shouts in a strange language whatever he's saying probably isn't flattering nice Got any useful spells in that robe of yours nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it intimidate let's go let's fucking go that's a skill i have can i do that i want the little bastard to shit his pants you can try what do you say listen up you little lizard lizard unfortunately he doesn't speak common which means he I can't cast communication on the dragonkin Ooh. Shit. Really? Now he nah, can understand stuff just like no my campaign. <laughs> Time to work some real magic. So this is called a skill challenge. Where you Shit. try to use Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. Come on. He steps let's go. back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? Beat puppet. I wiggle my hand. Hey, Dragonkin guy want to become my meat puppet how it works is I shove my arm up your ass into your head And then I can control your mouth from the inside to say things nice uh, He doesn't seem to like that idea now kiss do <laughs> The dragonkin pleads with you Please don't harm me tall one, but I cannot give you key Durgeron much taller and meaner than you You're short, I say. Hmm. But I could fix that. I'll just cut off your head and wear it as a top hat. Then you'd be way taller. The dragon can cowers before you, looking left and right. He opens his jaws, and you think he's about to yell for help. I interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting him. Then I say the following. This is going to be good. Here's what's Fuck up. Fuck yeah. I'm going to carve the skin from your bones. Then I'm going to turn your skin into a little leather handbag that I'll face. shove your skinless body into so I can carry it around with me wherever I go. That way, 
The next time some asshat refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body out and show them what happens. Holy How does that shit. sound? Oh my god. Uh, wow. That was nuts. I'm going to give you a plus 10 bonus to charisma. Go ahead and roll. A small pool of urine collects <laughs> under the elderly dragonkin as, hands trembling, it hands you the keys. Then, it dies of fear. Hell yeah. Awesome. Yeah! Go team! Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? She looks so I'm concerned, on. I know. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. <laughs> What's next? Well, it's tent. It's tent time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron. Warlord of the Raiders of the Black Well, sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. Nice. His laughter bellows. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. Mm -hmm. I got this. I cast Zael's Cataclysmic Cone of Fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgeron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Oh. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Except for, well you know, Acid Blast, which someone <laughs> used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Chalmastia? <laughs> What'll it be? Annihilation strike. Oh, holy shit. Uh, annihilation strike. That sounds boss as fuck. What? Oh, come on. That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your nope, first step, <laughs> you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh, no. Three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs. Plural. Mm. Severing both feet at the ankles. Shit. I am so sorry. Durgeron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit. I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgeron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stop. Oh, stop. Stop. This is all my Control fault. vibrated then. Sort of. What should I do? Distract him, dance. I, uh, I don't know. Shit. I dance to distract him. You dance? Yeah. To distract him. I'm doomed. 16? What? Yes! Your crappy, arrhythmic dancing is weirdly mesmerizing to Durgeron. He pauses with his sword in midair for ten seconds, buying Elmon time to crawl away. Okay. Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh, no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. All right. Hey, I chopped your feet off, and we're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? Swing for his arm. I bring my axe down onto his arm. The one with the fire bracer thingy. Oh, brilliant. You'll have yep. to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. Come on. 20. Yes. Oh, yes. You bring your axe down in a wicked chop, severing his arm completely. His bracer of fire immunity clangs to the ground. Nice. Gignomi's fire strike of flame. Do oh, it. Snap. Lying Fuck yeah. On the ground. You conjure a flaming spear, which flies from your hands to spear Durgeron in the chest, incinerating him completely from the inside out. Damn, Elamon. 
Durgron is defeated. Hell but your yeah. Wounds were too great. I'm afraid Calamastia is dead. That's fine. That's fine. I actually feel sad right now. Better to have died a hero than live as a coward. Absolutely. That was fun. Check out what I drew. Monkey's got serious Hell drawing yeah. skills. Look at that. That's sick. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds. <laughs> I want to see how all that would look in the Rassid version. Check. Because, like, Next Steph's step. character model is so Chemistry bad in this one. Joy. Like, the character model was pretty bad. If you, like, press and hold left trigger, it should view the objective, but it's not for some reason. I know it just says go to class, but... Is Rassi coming out um, next year now? Yeah, early um, early 2022. What the hell? What have you got here, Twitch? <laughs> Call me that. True North, a jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, this is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. <laughs> you're such a loser. Uh, you both losers. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. <laughs> the mute speaks? Twitch indeed. Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Too far, man. Not okay. Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard. When your dad closed it down, and you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. No. You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop. Chloe, do something. Don't just stand there watching. Step in. The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Idiot. Idiot? You're not used to a word that big, are you? Don't be scared. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? No. About picking on someone your own size, which I hear is pretty small. That <laughs> such a crazy freak. Mind your own small PP energy. Um, you have no idea how crazy I am. Keep pushing and find out. You want a piece of this? Piece of your bromance. You mean your budding bromance with Nathan? You're clearly into him. That. Just pull his hair already. <laughs> Chloe. Did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. Yeah. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. Come with Chloe Price ended up. bullying. That's it Go now, guys. Samantha. Bullying doesn't exist anymore. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Pervy. Are you okay? You think I need help from you? Yes, you do, because you clearly can't handle yourself. Are you all right? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. To after. Where the fuck was he? He's not very good at his job, is he? 
Fellas, Chloe Price has officially ended bullying. We could all leave our houses now. Everything's fine. To class, that's just one more excuse for mom to sick David on me. We'll no longer be hate crimed in the presence of Chloe Price. It's all grand, Skippy. Anti drug poster, lol. Well. Rachel! Oh, good. You're here. Oh. Hand holding, are we? That's, that's kind of cute. Not gonna lie. That's, that's kind of adorable. I do beseech you. Chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father. I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues... Mm. Hath I listened to... Hayden, you're killing me. <laughs> You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, <laughs> to yourself. Mr. Keaton! Sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Chloe is gay panic. Wow, looking good, Rachel. The fuck is that noise? Rare. Is Rachel as always? <laughs> Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. Uh, there's a hand round away. The question is... Sorry. Are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Um... I guess you could say it's true love because this is like kind of this whole <laughs> I'm just staring at her trying to come up with an answer but yeah this is like a subtle what's it called underlying what's the fucking word called it's not subtext what the fuck is it called I don't know when something's like mirroring something that's happening I forgot what it's called you, you know what I mean but yeah Sometimes, when you meet someone who's going to change your life, you just know it, I guess. Also, you've got parents coming to see the show, right? At 20 bucks a ticket, it's gotta be true love. Mm. Wow, a romantic and a cynic. Same. That actually kind of helps me. Thanks. <laughs> Honestly, same. Thanks, Why do they all stand so weirdly? Later. Let see me just... Later, Oh, shadow it. That's it. That's it, right? Improv with a class full of freshmen now. <laughs> Let me just. People in life is strange. Be standing like. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? <laughs> just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay. So, why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. Okay, uh, get the belt. <laughs> don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, fall <laughs> down. And pencils. Should be doable, right? I want to snoop on the computer. I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. Who's looking at it? Like, is a teacher looking at this? Why do theater kids take themselves so seriously? Yeah, we've heard of bad posture and gayness. Well, doesn't bad posture and gayness go hand in hand? Hey, Steph's the stage manager. That's such a cute bag. Rachel looks so happy here. 
Yeah, it gave that bad posture, it makes sense, absolutely. There's Rachel's belt. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. Honestly, I'm probably the least snoopiest person you could ever, like, you could ever know because, like, if someone's like, oh, can you get this thing out of my bag? I'm just instantly like, no. Can you check this thing on my phone for me? No. I just hate having that power. I just can't. It, yeah, I don't know why. It just makes me feel icky. So I just don't. I'm just like, nah. Unless I know them really well. Like, if I'm literally dating them. Every character's gay confirmed. Oh, absolutely. Bippy. Let's see what's on the wall over here. Less talk, more belt. Excuse me, Rachel. <laughs> uh, Rachel, is this your belt? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I gave panic. Cool costume. Cool costume. Cool costume. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So, hey, panic. I did you look. bring flowers for my dressing room? I'll owe you. Or just his belt. Uh, I'll owe you. Uh, <laughs> I guess I owe you. I'll hold you to that. Just hold me. What? Gay panic. I'll let you finish changing now. Hell yeah, that outfit's Chloe sick. Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. <laughs> if I were pretty good. I, I, I'd never seen Firelock live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Good point. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Seems a bit fruity. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Yeah? Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye, that is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Yes. Dude, having someone do your makeup is so intimate. I fucking love it. Like, like I said, if I was dating someone and they did my makeup, I'd just melt. It's having them like this close to your face. Fucking cute. Great idea. Yes, please. People won't shut up about it. Hold still. This is a lot of makeup. Hmm. That's the price of valor. Close your eyes. Much better. Holy shit. That color match though. Let's get the hell out of here. I thought she just smacked her ass then. I just got really concerned. <laughs> oh Jesus. You sure you don't want to just grab the bus or? Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. I'd love well, to do that. What the hell am I getting into here? Oh, it's a sloppy concealer. You okay? I know, right?
where does this thing go? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Hmm. There's a freight train, like pull up a chair, price. Yeah. You know. The view's amazing. Fuck off, Elliot. Is it okay? Yup! She's fucking gay. Alright. Glad we talked, me too. I know you're doing your best. Love you. Oh, that's nice. Cho wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. My idols are dead, I feel that. Chipping label. Whoa, Nathan's dad is a Terminator? That totally checks out. All right, let's do this crate. Is Chloe tall or everyone just short? I think Chloe's tall. I reckon she's like 5'9". Things heavier than it looks. Because like she's tall in the original game as well, and she's like eighteen there, I think, in the original one. Sit. All right, Chloe, you're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. <laughs> is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? No, oh, you're gay. Wish Max were here. So I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? Nice weather. It's nice Rachel we're having. But <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean weather. It's nice weather. It sure is. You're so fucking gay. I hate it. And when I say I hate so, it, I mean I love it. It's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Remain silent. Mr. I didn't mention it earlier, but... You seem to have some kind of Jedi mind powers over Mr. Keaton and the theater crew. You mean when we were talking about true love in the play? <laughs> I guess you could say I'm good with people, yeah. Just don't pull that stuff with me. You will get on this train. Oh, <laughs> shit. I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Ha. Huh. Well... I wanted some company. Is that it? That's it? That's it. Um, I love company. Oh, good any more than that. Love company. Good to fucking go. Anything beats another second in Blackwell. You really hate it there, don't you? You Absolutely. don't? <laughs> right. What reason would Rachel Amber have for hating Blackwell Academy? Your high school royalty. You don't know me. Yet. Yet. Let's do something fun. Okay. What? V card's been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. Uh, excuse wow. me. <laughs> Too far. Oh wait. Well, I don't know. Uh, okay. Something fun. I'm all ears. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is a lie. lie. Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Okay. Hey, no worries, Aimbot. You're on. Oh. 
I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Hmm. Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, ambidextrous. Same. Born in New York and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? New York. You seem more like a Cali girl to me. Ugh. Damn, Price, <laughs> not yeah. bad. Long Beach, in fact. West Coast is the best coast. I've only ever lived in Oregon, so nothing to compare it to, I guess. Then we'll have to change that one day, won't we? That's okay. so fucking cute. Your turn, Price. First fact. <laughs> right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. All right. Do you want to play this fairly or not? So we could either do it two truths and a lie. We could do three lies, three truths. Do whatever. What do you guys think? Let me know. <laughs> Decisions, I know. I think. I think I've only ever played fairly so. Yeah. Could do three lies. Because I've never done that one before. I've done three three truths. I'm allergic to cats. But they should, they're just saying she's a Leo. I don't know. I'd say allergic to cats. Sad to say this, since you're a Leo and all, but I'm allergic to cats. Are you now? Hmm. I swear. I'm secretly the lead guitarist of an all-girl Misfits cover band called the Misfits. <laughs> Impressive. I once broke my hand punching Stephanie Kowalski in fifth grade. No way. Bitch took my yoo -hoo. Knocked her the fuck out. <laughs> I see you like to write notes to yourself. Helps me stay focused. Also, sweet scar. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. Now, about this broken hand story. It's not that I don't think you could knock Stephanie Kowalski out. A bitch takes your yoo-hoo, she's gotta get got. Mm -hmm. Damn straight. But, you didn't get that scar from punching someone. No. That scar is from a distal radius fracture. Shit. All right. So you're a physician now. Last summer, I performed a one-woman Doctor Who homage entitled Weeping Angel. Ooh. Wait, what? The point is, I know that the scar you've got comes with breaking your wrist when you fall. Like, from a skateboard? Yeah. <laughs> I guess six years ago? Seven. Well, shit. I always thought I was a good liar. Good thing you're pretty. 
<laughs> said we were pretty. Which brings me to your alleged cat allergy. Alleged? I'm calling lie. Why is that? I mean, maybe you're allergic. But I've passed by your locker a few times. And I've seen that old photo of a cat you keep in there. Hmm. Bongo. His name was Bongo. He was a gift from my dad. Did he pass away? Yeah. My dad died two years ago. I thought everyone knew that. I meant Bongo. Hmm. Oh my god, of course, that's what you meant. I'm so sorry. Hey, that's okay. Awkward moment of the year. <laughs> Definitely. So, let's talk about this lead guitarist business. The business of show. As much as I'd love to be a groupie to your all-girl cover band, The Misfits. I'm gonna have to call Lyle on that one. Um... It'd be a groupie. There's no way you'd ever be a groupie. Okay, that's fair. Backup dancer. With vocals. Yeah. Obviously. The problem is, your hand is smooth. No calluses. You don't play guitar. Ah. Pity too. You'd look hot on stage. Stop complimenting me. So, if my math is correct, you cheated. Mm -hmm. Not a single truth escaped your lips. Not true. Oh. Stephanie Kowalski really did steal my yoo-hoo in fifth grade. <laughs> well, she better watch out. Next time I see the bitch, she's gonna feel my wrath. You are crazy good at this game. A that Rachel Thirsty, she is. Studying the human condition. All right, I'm impressed. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Next year we get HD Seriously? thirst. Yes. Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations second. Mm. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. I guess. You opened up a lot. That's all. It's not a big deal. Hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. Mm hmm It's hard. It is. Trust doesn't exactly come easy to me. Maybe if you'd had my life, you'd understand. No, I get that. On the other hand, I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. I love trust issues, hell yeah. Aw, stop being cute, both of yous. Fucking hell. Wouldn't mind listening to some music. Also, this song coming up, great song. I have this in my playlist as well. Share with Rachel. Who would hey. listen alone? Wanna listen? I'm probably gonna get claimed for it, but fuck it, it's a good song. Why oh, is that even a choice? Fuck knows. The soundtrack for this is so good. I actually have the soundtrack now on CD, and I'm so happy. It took me so long to find it, but I managed to get it. It's so good. Eddie. Yes, yeah, such a good song. I don't want to go through the whole song, so I don't want to get claimed, but... Cool bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. 
<laughs> they're vibing. Imagine that you sneak on a train with someone, flirt with them, play two truths and a lie. They just put headphones on and listen to the music alone. <laughs> just fucking talk and roll. Me too. Me too. Arcadia bake and suck a bag of dicks. Yep. Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe. If one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Kick him out Check the door. it out. We're here. What? Where is here? Jump and find out. Did you say jump? Jump. Jump. Fuck it. There's about a half hour left of this episode, I think. And then I'll take a quick break and then do the next one. So I think there is four episodes or three? I think it might be three. Jiggly said tuck and roll. <laughs> a pretty nice view glad you approve and as your reward for making it up here i have a new game for us to play another one i like games deal with it this is one i learned in theater class it's all about improvisation <laughs> fucking game <gamed> out <laughs> just shut myself for a second thought it was tuesday it does feel like it doesn't it how to act i guess I know all the world's a stage and shit, but I'm not an actor. Really? I see you acting like you're tough all the time in school. Oh. I... That... Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> this game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we've got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. Theater class, she really is gay, huh? Absolutely. That blows. Well, shit. All right, calm down. That was my last quarter. You? Quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh, yeah? Let's see what you got. All right. Rachel really wants to use this viewfinder. I'd love to get it working for her. Huh. Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. There's a graffiti opportunity around here. There you go. What do you guys want a graffiti of two choices or one choice? Do you, is there any choices? Yeah, axe or whatever the fuck that says. X or B. B. 
Stop sextanting the interns. Yeah. All right. Let's have a look at what we can pry open with. I already know. It's like, um, it's like it's what he's holding, right? I have no fucking clue. I wonder if I could use this to get the quarter out. Oh, I don't want to scare them. First time I played yeah, this, it took me like an hour to figure this out. Crying open that viewfinder. Got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh. I want a knife. No. How about a nail file? I want one of them twirly knives. I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. You could. Hundred percent. With force. Oh. Right. Sh sure. Let's and it would try cause it. abrasion. That'd be even worse. All right, let's go. Stealing a dedication plate takes Persistence. <laughs> By twisty knife, do you mean butterfly knife? Yeah. Yeah, I want to try knife twirling. Because weirdly enough, I used to do baton twirling. It's pretty fun. I liked it. I'm just not very coordinated. All right. Press got power. Activate. Nice. Not to brag. I don't want to boast, so I'll let you do it for me. Chloe Price, you are truly the viewfinder whisperer. I stand in awe of your powers. You should have played with it. <laughs> that sounds funny out of context, lol. I'm Cora calming down, not yet. <laughs> I feel that. Rachel smells like Jasmine. No. Is she smelling me right now, too? Really should have showered this morning. All right, here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. That's it. Hmm. I do that in my head during like every class. See, you're a natural. Let's give it a try. Same though. People watching is like my favorite thing to do. Hey, what do you say we barbecue some squirrels when we're done here? Hmm. God. You just have the best ideas. Loving this guy. What's he thinking right now? It was like the same character model for her dad. Super wedgie. <laughs> no matter how fast I go, I'll never outwalk this wedgie. That's so tragic, but also beautiful in its own way. <laughs> Hmm. What's going on with these two? I'll sacrifice. And the Lord said it, thou shalt make a burnt offering of your firstborn son. Who are you talking to, Dad? No one, son. Now, lean into the grill and see if the fire started. <laughs> Further. <laughs> Further. <laughs> wow. That was dark. Too dark? Perfect dark. Sweet beanie. What do you suppose she's thinking? <laughs> Look at the pictures of nature. Sure. The view's great. 
but I prefer to look at pictures of nature on a computer. Ugh, the grass around here is so not green enough. I cannot wait for the machines to take over. <laughs> This is fun. Who's next? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. Ooh, <laughs> jackpot. Commence makeout session in three, two, one. Nailed it. Damn, they are really going at it. Vibrating beds of prostitutes. Wait, you're a prostitute? But I'm a prostitute! Now who gets paid? <laughs> Rachel? Hey, are you alright? What are we doing? Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. All right, calm down. Uh, hell yeah. The honor student wants to show the school delinquent how to party. Hmm. Be my guest. How gracious of you. All right, our attitude suddenly changed. They have a bottle of wine. Just go through it. Mm-hmm. Let's steal it. Uh, okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead. No. That should get gaming anxiety. You Same. Bring alcohol PTSD. To a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody, right? And fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. All right. I'm going in. Try to keep up. Um, can we help you? <sighs> oh my god! Oh, Holy all right. shit! Talk about committing to a performance. Swipe it. Oh, thank god! Please, this girl is in trouble! Go get help! I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. Mm -hmm. What are you waiting for? Go! Um... I, I, I already called 911. They, they should have an ambulance here any moment. In the meantime, they said to keep close watch on her. Like, turn all the way around and really focus. Watch out. I'm going to check her pulse. That's... On her neck, right? I still think you should go get help. You can also a check pulse on your forehead. On the other side of the park. Good point. We'll keep watch while you go. Oh shit! That that sounds like rabies to me. Rabies? Uh, yep. Uh, Definitely rabies. Better pay close attention to make sure she doesn't try to bite you. Okay. Okay. You can do this. I can't do it. Pathetic. Look, he's Pathetic. clearly useless. This woman needs help from someone who actually knows what they're doing. <laughs> oh, oh shit. shit. Now I'm starting to feel sick too. It's like the wrong I thing. I think it's contagious. You'd better run away before it gets you too. Hold on. There's something off about this. Are you girls putting us on? Rachel, run! What the hell? <sighs> Imagine ditching the school to get drunk so, in a park on maybe wine. Maybe could use a little mm -hmm. work, but at least he committed to the performance. What was Rachel's run? I know, Thanks. right? <laughs> the running animations in this are bad. I 
could use a drink after trying to keep up with you. I'm hoping that they rework some of that stuff in the new one, like in the remastered one. I am excessively sober right now. Right. Okay. Guess we're leaving now. <laughs> she's a runner, she's a drag star. <laughs> That's great. Whoa. Hey, check this out. What? Great. It's a pile of trash. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, an awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit down. Rachel's been acting kind of standoffish ever since we left the park. What's her deal? Mm hmm. I don't want to call her out. She's clearly going through something. No, hmm. the little Chloe, I'd really like some space right now. Hmm. Okay. Actually, no. I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. That's fair. Yeah, I, I get it. I know I'm not the easiest person to be around. I don't exactly have tons of experience with the whole friendship thing. Not everything revolves around you, Chloe. I didn't say it did. I'm just saying I understand. No, you really don't. Fuck! <laughs> <sighs> uh... Okay, I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel, mm -hmm. but apparently she gets smashy when she's angry. I can work with that. Smashy smash. The wine! <laughs> Score. Not the free wine, that probably tasted gross. Then again, it was bougie people at a park eating it with cheese and olives, and it probably was an alright wine. Give Rachel a show. Hey, check it out. I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I prefer drinking it next to an old toilet. Home run! Can I see? Sure. I asked you to leave me alone. Are you being a me? bitch? Come on! I, I know you're the school princess and all. With the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all the perfect little Victoria chases kissing your perfect ass. But seriously, fuck you. Great. I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. You can't leave! Watch me. Rachel, wait! Don't go. Why not? Because, because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. And what is this exactly? Ooh, 
a friendship or something more. Y'all know what I'm gonna pick. I mean, <laughs> fuck. Are you actually going to make me say it? Say what? Exactly. You know, like a friendship, but more. Ah. I know. Weird, right? It's not weird, it's Chloe. Just, You're just gay. Today was the best day I've had since... Since my dad died. And when I almost ruined it just now, the way I ruin everything, it made me realize... Whatever's going on between us is special. Come on. Say something. Yo, I'm not about to cry right now. Chloe, I... I... You know what? Forget it. This was really stupid. I mean, you're Rachel Amber, and I'm Chloe Price. It's not that. It's just hard right now. And I can't talk about it. Why not? Because I can't. I know it isn't fair. But it's how it is. Goodbye, Chloe. Smash, smash, smash. Smash, 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 smash. Smash everything. Smash it. Smash, smash, smash. You know she's fake. Y you can't take your eyes off her. Who else do I know who fits that description? Yo, don't. Don't. Fuck off, Rachel. I've never understood your hard on for cameras, Max. You took a million pictures of us, and not one of them showed that you were gonna leave when I needed you most. Can stop cutting onions, please? I don't know, Fuck right? cameras. One of them was too close. I know, Lydia, I saw your um, tracker. I can deny it no longer! I am small. small. Taking a break after this anyway, Lydia. Uh, can I smack? No, I'm just gonna. Okay. Angry smashy, angry smashy. If you want to rip a family apart from the inside, it's important to bring the proper tools. Fuck you, David. Yeah, fuck you, David. Oh shit, it's a dad's car in it.
That fucking sucks. And or is Kara. Why are you crying, sweetheart? Oh, I wonder why. Because you're not real. <laughs> I'm not. What is going on? What's past is prologue and shit. Kiddo, look on the bright side, would ya? What bright side? You made a new friend today. my marker oh there it is Gotta just in the white ball that was some fight a lover's quarrel you might say oh my god <laughs> she nearly took your head off what do you care <laughs> sorry sweetheart I guess I'm getting into your personal business. Truth or lie? Or X or B? Truth. Dad used to hate it when I wrote on shit. I guess I did that. <laughs> Sometimes people need you, though. It's a bit scary. Uh, that's Either terrifying. Don't admit it. Why is that face horrifying? I don't know. Those dreams are a bit fucked up, aren't they?
You came. I'm glad. Hey. I couldn't let the day end with whatever this afternoon was. Chloe, I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. Um, shit. It's okay. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? The ones who were making out? That was my dad. Oh. All right. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Oh. The worst part is... I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just... I didn't know what it was. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought I thought I could catch him or something. I'm so sorry, Rachel. I don't... I don't know what to say. Neither Can't do really I. say anything, really. Chloe, I love my dad. I love him. And... I never want to see his fucking face again. When my dad died, she fell rock. <laughs> I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed. It's silly, but I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10, and it started raining, and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. I remember screaming like I was going to die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and... Uh, I, I give her space. I don't want to evade her privacy right now. He was just so strong, you know? I, I felt safe. You trusted him. You trusted him. Completely. Here. Chloe, I owe you an apology. Hey, we were both kind of the queen of shitty. Mm. No, I mean it. Whatever's going on between us, it's intense and new and awesome. And you had the courage to tell me that you feel it too. And I treated you like shit. Courage? I don't know if I'd call it that. More like blind desperation. And maybe a slight buzz from that wine. I just want you to know... I'm lucky that you were with me today. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. You saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? You dropped that one guy with a knee to the balls. Mm -hmm. Only because you showed up at the last minute and... What about Drew? When he was picking on Nathan? You got right in his face and called him out. That was pretty sweet, actually. See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, she's well, a good friend. I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. <laughs> and my dad... Electric chair. <laughs> ...will definitely 
punish me with. Fuck him. Fuck your dad. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. Do it, pussy. What's you won't. Us? <laughs> us? Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. Okay. Let's fucking go. In somewhere in Neverland by all time low plays in the background. <laughs> Thank you. Now, Rachel. Shadow from earlier, yep. There was a lot of talk of fire. It's a fucking banshee dam, I know, right? Imagine fucking just seeing that though, just chilling and just see a massive storm of clouds just coming up. Those smoky clouds, you know what I mean? Really popped off with that one. I know, right? She kind of sounded like, um, Black Canary. Yeah, they were talking a lot about forest fires earlier. us. Guys, that's episode one. Fucking ill. It's trailer for episode two, I think, after this bit. I don't know if we need it, but if you want to see the trailer of it before I go for a break for a couple of minutes, so a couple of minutes will be like five-ish minutes. I just need to get a brew and some food. Damn the feels. I know, right? It's... It's pretty insane. But yeah. So, let me just flip back over so I can show you the trailer for the next episode.